I really admire how the Hertz Foundation is picking the kind of the singularities who are going to go off in different directions. And so if you're feeling like you're a little bit quirky or out of the box, I think the Hertz Fellowship is a good thing to, to try for and a good community to be part of. Even if you think you have a low chance of getting Hertz Fellowship, you should still definitely apply. I think that they look for intelligence and expertise in a very broad and holistic manner. Even if you don't recognize those necessarily all those qualities in yourself, the interviewers are uh, you know, very experienced and, and they might recognize that in you. So don't self-select yourself out of the process. Like put your best foot forward and you know, you never know where that's gonna lead you. If you think you're not a good fit, or, but you know, you're someone who's highly curious, just apply anyway and, and let, let, the, let the applicant readers decide. Um, I almost didn't apply because uh, this is obviously a fellowship um, geared at applications applied to science and technology and engineering. Um, and being that I'm a theorist, I thought, okay, maybe this isn't a good fit for me. Um, but as I sat down to, you know, maybe look at the application, I realized, oh, actually, you know, I do have ideas for, you know, even if my work might be theoretical, I do have ideas for how this might spin off and really have tangible benefits to society. Honestly, just be yourself and to be excited about the work that you do. I remember I was very intimidated going into my interviews and I felt as though, you know, this could never be a place for me. Everyone's so brilliant. Everyone has all these innovative ideas. But during my interviews, I really started to feel that oh, we're just talking about science and what we love and what we're passionate about. And I think sort of embracing that part of yourself and embracing just what drives you to do work every day is really what's ultimately gonna be most helpful for you in your work and then also during the application process for the fellowship. My best advice would just be to start and just see what you end up writing because you never know. Um, don't write yourself off and, and, and just roll the dice and see what happens. There are so many people who are qualified and capable of being Hertz Fellows. I think maybe sometimes people feel intimidated into not applying. Um, but I think putting your best foot forward is maybe all that anyone can do. And that's all I did. Um, so I, my, my, I guess my first piece of advice is just take that leap of faith. And um, writing the essays is pretty fun too. It's not so bad. And the interviews are maybe the most fun part of all.